Operation Grange, set up after a direct request from David Cameron, is a year into its work and has already cost the British taxpayer two million pounds. The McCanns felt they were getting nowhere with the new Home Secretary, Theresa May. So, printed on the front page of The Sun was an open letter from the McCanns to her boss, David Cameron, appealing to him as a parent to agree to a review. We've been told by the highest government sources that pressure was being exerted on David Cameron by News International and by The Sun newspaper in particular, as well as by the McCanns. Within 24 hours, the Prime Minister decided that a review could be paid for out of a special contingency fund run by the Home Office and reserved for special cases. Madeleine McCann, the Prime Minister decided, was a special case. But a source at number 10 told us David Cameron acted as a sympathetic parent. The review team finally set up last May and made up of experienced murder squad detectives has been sifting through the evidence ever since. There is myself a detective chief inspector, I've got three detective inspectors, five detective sergeants, 19 constables and, not detective constables I should say, and about six or seven members of civilian staff that perform various different functions. They've built up a huge uh, portfolio here if you will. 37 investigators on the case now uh, and they're only a quarter of the way through the documents. Now I gather that they, whatever their investigation is in the, in the UK, holds no sway in Portugal. All of this would have to go back to Portugal, uh, police in Portugal, would it not? That's correct. The Portuguese would have to reopen the case, which, by the way, can be reopened if the McCanns just ask it to be reopened. They have not done so. Portuguese police finally confirmed that a team based in the northern city of Porto, well away from the original investigation, has been reviewing the case for the last year. That work has been carried out discreetly and uh, it will continue to be carried out discreetly. Our Prime Minister has gambled taxpayers' money on finding a resolution. Of course, it's politically risky to pour millions of pounds of taxpayers' money into an investigation that might never be solved. So five years on, two teams on, two million pounds on, are we any nearer knowing what happened to Madeleine McCann?